This is Dr. Christopher Scott, chiropractor with Good Shepherd Healthcare System with today's topic for helping to manage your low back pain. Today's topic, core stabilization. Core stabilization is a vital component for managing and preventing low back pain. Core stabilization is made possible by contracting certain muscles within inside the abdominal region. These muscles include, but they're not limited to, the rectus abdominis, also known as the six-pack, the obliques, the quadratus lumborum, the lumbar extensors, and the diaphragm. When properly used, they will stiffen and fortify the spine from potential catastrophic injuries like disc herniations, broken bones, and hernias. Imagine, if you will, a radio tower that is supported by guy wires. The abdominal muscles might be seen as the wires in front of the tower. The extensor muscles of the low back might be seen as the corresponding wires on the opposite side. The obliques and the quadratus lumborum make up the lateral guy wires. To continue this analogy, you can easily imagine that if tension on the guy wires on one side was too tight or maybe even too loose, then the overall stability of the tower would be compromised. Similarly, if there are imbalances of the spinal stabilizers, the spine will be less stable under loading and movement challenges. Using what have become known as McGill Big 3 spinal stabilizing exercises, we can safely and effectively build and prevent the core to prevent and manage low back pain. These three exercises are known as the McGill Ab Raise, the Side Bridge, and the Bird Dog. The McGill Ab Raise is an exercise that strengthens the rectus abdominal muscle. To perform the McGill Ab Raise, Start out by lying in a supine position on the floor. A gym mat can be used to help provide some cushion. Stack the hands one on top of the other and place them under the curve of the low back. Bend one knee and keep the other one straight. Tuck the chin, push the elbows straight through the ground and lift the upper back just enough so that the shoulder blades clear the ground. Hold this position for about 10 seconds then slowly lower back down to the ground. Rest for two seconds and perform another rep for 10 seconds. After two reps have been performed, switch legs and repeat for two more reps. The side plank is an exercise that strengthens the lateral lumbar stabilizers, the internal and external obliques and quadratus lumborum. To perform this exercise, start out by laying on your side, propped up on your elbow. The elbow should be directly under the shoulder. Make the body straight and position the top leg in front of the lower leg. At this point, the body should be in a position that would allow a person to look downward and their shoulder should be in alignment with the hip. Next, lift the body up and create a straight line throughout the body. Hold this position for 10 seconds, then slowly lower the body down and rest for two seconds. Then perform another rep for 10 more seconds. After two complete reps have been performed, switch to the other side and repeat for two more reps. Lastly, the bird dog is an exercise that is designed to build endurance in the lumbar extensor muscles. To perform this exercise, start out on your knees and hands. The hands should be placed directly under the shoulders and the knees directly under the hips. Create a slight dip in the low back. Place the head in a neutral position. Next, extend the opposite arm and leg at the same time while making sure the spine and hips don't rotate during the movement. Hold this position for about 10 seconds. Can come back to a resting position by lightly brushing the arms and the legs to the floor mat. Then extend outward for 10 more seconds. After two reps have been performed, switch and use the opposite arm and leg. Try practicing these exercises every day and see if they help manage your low back pain.